had someone give me a box of the uh, 180 grain core lock in the 30 out 6 Springfield to do some ballistics testing for them. That high velocity load was traveling just under 2800 feet per second and that mushroom that weight retention was 132.5 then I pulled a bullet and loaded it in a 308 to do a little reduced load simulating long range and the weight retention on that bullet was 164.7 and in that its impact velocity was just over 1700 feet per second um, probably a little slower than you should be moving those but obviously did the job so we will start right to left here with that high velocity load you can see it opening up pretty quick like and it actually came through the gel started curving down and there's kind of a little dark spot there I don't know if you can see it that's where that bullet had stopped with its leading edge at 20 and 3 quarters with over a 5 inch I got damage on all four sides of my block so a little over 5 inch permanent wound cavity there and that uh, good portion of that permanent wound cavity runs from the one inch mark to the ten and three eighths inch mark and then tapering down and doesn't carry much permanent wound cavity after that than where that bullet's resting and on that uh, low velocity load we got it opening up at about the inch and a quarter mark carrying good permanent wound cavity to the 10 inch mark where it tapers down significantly carrying to about the 17 inch mark and then it had 29 and 7 eighths to that leading edge the larger section of that permanent wound cavity three inches coming to where it starts to taper down you're still running an inch and a half and then you're just under an inch by the 15 inch mark so overall definitely a good performing bullet they do have a reputation um, for being very good hunting bullets they also claim to be the deadliest mushroom in the forest and I think that's just because it is the most sold factory ammunition ever but in all honesty you can't argue with those mushrooms being some of the most deadly mushrooms in the forest overall good performance um, definitely wouldn't use these long range for any for any reason, ballistic coefficients just aren't good enough to keep that bullet from drifting in the wind or anything, but for a brush gun, excellent bullet, excellent job overall. Um, my gel blocks are starting to get a little dark. I don't know how well you can see that permanent wound cavity in there. Hopefully it shows up pretty decent in the videos because these gel blocks are still calibrating well when I recast them and they are kind of pricey so I'd like to keep using them hope you guys enjoy the video